The Power Grip SB Hose Clamp is truly a revolutionary product. It changes how we look at hose clamps, how we select and install them. In fact, how we deal with cooling system maintenance. But to installers who are used to using a screwdriver on metal clamps, the polymeric shrinking clamp may seem revolutionary. Even after seeing the significant benefits of the clamp, the elimination of cold leaks, consistent grip over the circumference of the fitting, snug fit on out of round fittings, and elimination of hose and clamp damage from over torquing, the idea of installing a clamp with a heat gun may seem a little bizarre. Once you see how it works and the ease of installation and removal, we think you'll want to try this ingenious product. And after using them for a while, you may never want to go back to metal clamps again. First, a word about cold leaks. If you've seen Gates' video on the benefits of the PowerGrip SB clamp, you know that PowerGrip SB clamps put a stop to leaks, even in the most demanding applications, like engines repeatedly cycling from extreme cold to scorching underhood heat. The Gates PowerGrip SB clamp is unique in that it continuously contracts around hose and fitting under conditions of both heat and cold. Using traditional metal clamp technology causes some nasty consequences. Cold leaks caused by gaps in the hose to fitting interface necessitate frequent maintenance to keep the coolant at optimum levels and they contaminate the soil and groundwater. Damage to hose, clamps and fittings can cause still more hassles. The PowerGrip SB clamp was designed to eliminate all that and it succeeds by every standard Gates and our customers have established. The first step in installing the clamp is to determine proper clamp size. Gates has developed three handy methods for matching the right clamp to the application. If you know the outside diameter of the hose, refer to a sizing chart available in the Gates catalog and PowerGrip SB literature. The PowerGrip SB clamp sizing chart decal, available free from Gates, contains the same information. It's sticky on the back and can be attached at a convenient location, for instance on the side of a tool cabinet. Also available free is the clamp sizing tape. Just wrap it around the outside of the hose and stem over the bead and it tells you what size power grip SB clamp to use. Once the right clamp is selected, installation begins with removal of the hose from the fitting. Make sure the surface of the fitting is smooth. Remove any imperfections, such as mold marks or flash. If the stem is damaged, repair or replace it. And make sure there's a bead on the fitting to hold the hose and clamp fast. Of course, no clamp will perform properly without a bead on the stem. With fittings larger than an inch and three quarters in diameter, the bead should cover the full circumference of the stem. With smaller fittings, depending on size, bead can cover as little as two-thirds of the circumference. Make sure you have the right hose for the application. Inside diameter of the hose should be equal to or slightly less than the diameter of the fitting. The PowerGrip SB clamp may not provide a proper seal on fittings that are seriously out of alignment. Note if the clamp will be close to an intense heat source, such as an exhaust manifold or a turbocharger. Proper clearance requirements depend on air circulation during operation and ventilation when the engine is shut down, but there are a few rules of thumb. Four inches clearance from manifolds, pipes, and catalytic converters is normally adequate in a well-ventilated area, and up to 12 inches may be required if there's a turbocharger in the area. If the clamp will be too close to a heat source, reflective heat shielding material or an alternative clamp may be the answer. The cardboard restraint inside the clamp is designed to hold the clamp at its proper diameter for storage and must be removed for installation. To remove it, crush the cardboard restraint inward with your fingers and bend it into a C shape. You may have to use pliers for smaller size clamps. Slip the clamp onto the hose end and push it until the clamp end is flush with the hose end. If it's more convenient to slip the clamp onto the stem first or to slip it on from the other end of the hose, do it that way. When inserting the hose onto the stem, it's very important to position the clamp properly relative to the position of the bead. 
The clamp should clear the bead or just cover it. If the clamp won't go over the bead, use the next larger sized clamp. Position as much of the clamp as possible behind the bead and avoid letting the clamp cover any of the hose that's unsupported by the fitting. Position the clamp so that the side with the printing on it is facing you. Once the clamp is properly positioned, use a heat source to shrink it. The Gates heavy duty heat gun is ideal. Special extension nozzles help you put the heat source where it's needed, even in tight spaces. Other heat implements will work too. As a guideline, you can use a 1000 watt heat gun, letting it get no closer than one inch from the clamp. Heat at least one third of the surface of the clamp. Touching the clamp with the Gates heat gun will not damage it. Watch the color of the printing on the clamp. As the clamp tightens its grip on the hose and fitting, the green print will turn a tan brown or gray hue. If the clamp starts to freckle or melt, you may be making the clamp too hot. Remove the heat source immediately. In most cases, using a 1000 watt heat gun, the clamp will shrink and form a proper seal in 60 seconds or less. And finally, when installing a Power Grip SB clamp on silicone hose, the hose may continue to rotate freely even after the clamp has been installed. Caused by the natural slipperiness of silicone, this is normal and does not compromise the seal. As with any cooling system repair, it is advisable to run the engine, check for proper installation, and ensure that all connections are leak-free. One of the unique characteristics of the Power Grip SB clamp is its ability to tighten as the engine reaches operating temperature, eliminating minor leaks. Clamp removal is easy using the Gates Heavy Duty Power Grip SB clamp removal tool. With one squeeze on its pistol grip, the clamp is cut without damage to the hose. You can also melt the clamp off using a hot knife or soldering iron. And the extension nozzle for the Gates heat gun has a lip at the end that, when hot, will melt the clamp by direct contact. The Power Grip SB clamp is indeed an amazing product. With these tips on selection and installation, you'll be making leak-proof connections in no time. Thanks to Gates, the world's leader in belts and hose technology. <laughs>